imagine a man who doesn't fit your stereotypical image of a gangster, standing only at 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing a mere 135 pounds, clean shaven face, short hair. Now, picture this man to be one of the most notorious, most feared killers within the ranks of the infamous Hells Angels motorcycle gang. His name? Eve Apache Trudeau, a man responsible for ending over 40 lives. Buckle up, because today we're taking a chilling ride down memory lane into the gruesome legacy of this notorious Hells Angels hitman. Hells Angels hitman, the psycho serial killer. Eve Apache Trudeau, a man whose name sends chills down the spines of even the toughest bikers, managed to instill fear, command respect, and ultimately expose the violent underbelly of one of the most notorious motorcycle clubs, the Hells Angels. Trudeau, a former member of the Hells Angels North chapter in Laval, Quebec, who was not just any member, he was the club's leading enforcer, an assassin whose lethal skills played a significant role in the deadly biker conflicts throughout Canadian history. But how did this man, whose physical appearance was far from intimidating, become such a feared figure within the ranks of the Hells Angels? How did he earn his horrifying nickname Apache? And what led him to turn his back on the club and cooperate with authorities? Join us as we delve into the life and crimes of Eve Apache Trudeau, the infamous hitman of Hells Angels as we unravel the shocking series of events leading to the Lennoxville Massacre and the devastating aftermath that rocked the biker world to its core. From Popeyes to Hell's Angels. The bloody odyssey of Eve Apache Trudeau commenced on the turbulent year of 1968 when he chose to align himself with the most violent and notorious outlaw biker gang of Quebec, the Popeyes Moto Club. Known and feared for their unbridled acts of brutal violence, the Popeyes were not a group to be trifled with, striking terror into the hearts of rival clubs and innocent bystanders alike. It was during this era of unparalleled chaos and bloodshed that the Popeyes caught the discerning eyes of an equally brutal and notorious group, the Hells Angels. Recognizing the potential of the Popeyes, the Hells Angels set the wheels in motion for their transformation, culminating in the establishment of Canada's first ever Hells Angels chapter. Trudeau, an eager new recruit, found himself quickly ascending the ranks. Demonstrating a lethal combination of ruthlessness, fearlessness, and strategic acumen, he carved out a niche for himself as a formidable enforcer. His reputation was cemented during the Popeye's relentless and often brutal conflicts with rival biker groups. His uncanny knack for dispatching his targets with a cold, calculated efficiency earned him a reputation as a deadly assassin. A reputation that was well deserved, for Trudeau had become a grim reaper, dispatching souls to the afterlife with an almost chilling indifference. His skills didn't go unnoticed, as he continued to consolidate his position within the newly formed Hells Angels chapter, becoming an integral part of their operations. Each act of violence, each successful assassination, painted another bloody stroke onto the canvas of Trudeau's dark legacy, a legacy that was just beginning to take form. This was but the start of Trudeau's dark journey, a journey that would lead him deeper into the heart of the outlaw biker world, forever binding his name with infamy. The Demons Within The Hells Angels, with their violent reputation, were considered the epitome of biker brutality, but within their diverse ranks, the North Chapter, where Trudeau was placed, stood out as particularly savage. Renowned for their rampant drug use, explosive temperaments, and unpredictable actions, they were a volatile force, a far cry from the seemingly more controlled and disciplined South Chapter. The North Chapter's chaotic world was a fitting setting for Trudeau, an environment where his tendencies toward violence and mayhem found a thriving breeding ground. It was here that Trudeau continued his grim trade, his actions driving the North Chapter's reputation further into the abyss of infamy. However, a significant upheaval was imminent in the world of anarchy, 
1983, the killing of the national presidents by a rival biker gang, the Outlaws, ignited a flame that would burn wildly through the ranks of the Hells Angels. The group, which had been teetering on the brink of internal collapse due to the stark differences between the North and South chapters, was further destabilized. The brutal assassination of their leaders marked a shocking moment in their turbulent history, setting off a chain reaction that would spiral the situation out of control. This intense period of uncertainty, chaos, and rampant violence provided the ideal backdrop for Trudeau's most terrifying years. His dark saga was far from over, rather it was set to plunge into an even deeper abyss of violence, casting an even more ominous shadow over his already blood-soaked reputation. The Killer Unleashed Eve Apache Trudeau, far from being an ordinary member, emerged as the primary weapon of the Hells Angels, their lethal enforcer who executed orders with an efficiency that was chilling in its ruthlessness. Beyond his direct involvement with the Hells Angels, Trudeau also associated with the formidable West End Gang, an Irish-Canadian organized crime group. This gang held a significant stronghold over Montreal's port, exerting considerable control over its drug trafficking and contraband operations. Trudeau was not a haphazard or impulsive killer, instead he was meticulously calculating, methodical in his planning, and almost clinical in his execution. Between 1970 and 1985, he admitted to taking 43 lives, each hit amplifying his fearsome reputation and cementing his status within the gang. His chilling record of assassinations earned him the Hells Angels' notorious Filthy Few patch. This wasn't an honor bestowed lightly, it was a gruesome badge of honor allegedly given exclusively to members who had killed for the club. Each death attributed to Trudeau served not just to advance the gang's interests, but also to intensify the terrifying legend that was Eve Apache Trudeau. The downfall begins. Despite Eve Trudeau's status as the Hells Angels' most effective hitman, he was far from invincible. The same ruthless drive that had propelled him to the upper echelons of the biker gang also bred an insatiable greed and a deep-seated addiction. His participation in a contracted assassination on behalf of a West End gang leader led him down a dangerous path, resulting in spiraling debt, widespread resentment within the ranks of the Hells Angels, and an eventual fall from grace. Trudeau's downfall within the club coincided with the Hells Angels' decision to disband the increasingly uncontrollable North Chapter, marking a bloody chapter in biker gang history known as the Lennoxville Massacre. This was not a decision taken lightly by the club's hierarchy, but a brutal necessity stemming from the internal chaos that had begun to threaten their operations. It was a chilling reminder that even the deadliest of angels could fall from their pedestals, becoming targets of the very violence they once wielded. The informant emerges. When the internal machinations of the Hells Angels turned against Eve Trudeau, he made a surprising and controversial decision. Cornered, he shifted loyalties, turning to law enforcement as a police informant and government witness, a move that was virtually unthinkable in the rigid world of outlaw biker culture. In a sweeping court proceeding in 1985, Trudeau entered a guilty plea for 43 counts of manslaughter revealing his personal role in the terrifying wave of violence that had gripped Quebec's underworld. His testimony didn't stop there, he detailed countless other acts of homicide and attempted murder, shedding light on the dark operations of the gang. While his decision to turn informant caused a stir, controversy further ignited over the plea deal offered to him. Despite admitting to an astonishing number of killings, Trudeau was sentenced to life in prison but with eligibility for parole in just seven years. His life in the ranks of the Hells Angels was effectively traded for a chance at personal survival, a stark departure from the fatalistic ethos he'd once espoused. Eve Apache Trudeau, the feared enforcer, the meticulous hitman, chose to turn his back on the world that birthed him as one of Canada's most feared killers. 
his decision saved his life, but also left a chilling legacy within the outlaw biker world. That's the story of the psychopathic serial killer who rose to notoriety within the Hells Angels.